Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday, 10 September. Got the 10 year yield chart here up. This is the first thing we're going to look at this morning, just because this looks like it has turned. Uh, whether we get sort of a right shoulder consolidation here pre CB or this catches people by surprise and continues higher. Looks to me like we're going to see this 180 yield here, and then that will be a moment in time. We'll have to see if we can clear that. But uh, the future ZN uh, should continue lower. We've already made a, a new low in Asia. Um, a lot of trend lines and stuff have, have been broken. Looks like fixed income is turned here, so uh, we're going to keep that in mind. Continue on with uh, short boons, short ZN, um, and see see how it goes. Um, no real news that's creating this kind of downdraft, and I'm not really sure why. Stocks came off yesterday. Here's the stock chart, almost bearish engulf there for a second. Um, we did print that low of 69.50, but couldn't hold it. Indecisive day. Would not be surprised if these turn lower today. Uh, I don't have a really good reason for it, other than the thousands of sort of lingering reasons that are out there. Um, we shall see on stocks. Not really a uh, huge conviction. We wanted to sell high ones yesterday. We did not get paid. Uh, so now we're just sitting here square watching. We are short for fixed income. Um, and we'll see how that goes. There's a couple of things we talked about yesterday. Euro Norway. Um, that has turned lower. I'm not even sure where the Euro Norway chart is. Oh yeah, there it is. Pretty serious down day in Euro Norway yesterday. Uh, we get CPI today. This could easily zip down to uh, 982. Uh, could also consolidate. We'll be reselling this in the 990 region. Uh, Euro Norway looks to be going left. Our old uh, favorite Sterling Swiss doing nice work for us. Uh, we're going to slowly trade into a smaller position on this uh, so we have some room to reload uh, if there's uh, some bad news that I don't I feel like is gonna happen but I don't know when or how it's gonna come um, but it's been a good trade for us we're gonna reduce exposure to, to sterling Swiss um, just with the idea that we'll be able to reboot uh, on a bad headline which seems inevitable at this point. I have no idea what it'll be, but it just seems likely in the sterling world. What else is out there? Euro did not do too much. Traded up to um, 70 on the news that Germany is going to open these special purpose vehicles to try and subvert budget rules, which basically means they're just Again, looking at fiscal stimulus for their economy, which means they have to sell more boons, which means there's a bigger supply of boons, uh, and could be one of the reasons why boons are going lower. But that that made euro pop. We're here 110.45 now. Not a whole lot to do ahead of the ECB. We expect a range. Uh, we definitely don't think this is going to get below sort of say 109.90 nor do we expect this to get too much above uh, 11070. Uh, no dog in this fight really. Uh, if you see a headline you can trade it but otherwise uh, we're just watching and waiting saving bullets for ECB. Darian broke 25 last night. We were not involved sleeping soundly last night. Um, 50 was the high. We're trading at 40 now. This is just correlating pretty well with the 10-year yield. So as 10-year yield goes down, dollar yen goes up. 
Same thing with dollar Swiss. We broke this trend line in dollar Swiss yesterday. The death knock today is at fourteen. Uh, thirteen was the low overnight. We had a twelve bid that did not get filled, which is just kind of annoying, but it's kind of standard um, for Asian trading. So, Dalian looks like it's broken on the top side. This high now matches up pretty well with this one, 99.30. I suggest we'll probably break this today, especially if stocks don't do anything and bonds continue to go lower. As most of you know, I'm notoriously bad at dollar Swiss, so um, careful what you wish for here uh, following my ideas on this. But you can probably add to longs through 99.30. If this was any other currency pair, I would be like, well, this would make sense to buy through 99.30. Because it's dollar Swiss and it's like bizarro land, um, I'm, I'm a little more tentative. Let's go to CAD. Nice little uh, reach down to 43. We're looking for some consolidation here now. We'll be selling up near the figure. Uh, CAD yen was good to us yesterday. But also we're looking for consolidation. This should get um, resistance between sort of 75 and the figure. Um, we're back square again, CAD yen just because we're a little bit worried about an equity turn. Um, but dollar cad, we will be selling uh, up near the figure. One of the reasons that we like dollar cad to continue to be offered is this move in oil. Filled this gap up here to 15, 58, 15. Traded up to 40 last night. Looks pretty inevitable that we're going to break this 58, 75 high. Our next sort of sell level will be up here in this 61 region. So, but we're just using this as kind of a risk barometer, a Norwegian barometer, a Canadian barometer. Um, but looks looks bullish. This oil oil chart, sanctions against Europe are are helping that story out. What else is out there? Let's look at cable just. Because couldn't quite sustain the happiness up there, 123.84, the high. Um, not really sure what to do with this. Again, expecting some bad news or expecting some fear to creep into this whole sterling situation. So we're square sterling at the moment. Uh, we have a little bit of sterling Swiss on now, but um, looking to buy dips on this on um, what you would say is spooky news. Euro Swiss, bang. Who remembers selling those Euro Swiss down at 108.19? That was fun. Um, shit's bullish now. Wow. Kind of crazy town. Expect some, some slowing of this train here at 109.60. Uh, but again, any kind of Swiss-related currency pair is like, uh, you know, drunk carnival clowns. Hard to predict. Hard to predict, uh, even if you live here, uh, Swiss franc. So we are not long Euro Swiss. Uh, we were just watching this, helping trade around dollar Swiss uh, positions and sterling Swiss positions, but... Boy, that looks bullish, doesn't it? My, my. Anyway, the calendar's super light today. We got industrial production out of France and some monkey business, Italian IP as well. Um, not really anything, you know, housing starts out of Canada. Nothing out of the U.S. There should be some new loans data out of China. Uh, but nothing really we want to sink our teeth into. Try and scratch some cash out of this market today. Um, keep your powder dry for Thursday. This is going to be a, a, a big money-making day. Um, so be patient today. 
we are going to be patient. Not a lot of five-star stuff. If we can scratch, scratch a little bit of money, that'll be great. But otherwise, it looks like we're going to be pretty quiet this side. That's all I got for you guys today. Good luck out there. I will um, see you all tomorrow. Ciao.